Hey guys, Missy Kane here. So glad you're tuning in to Fit and Fun. Um, I'm going to be a little selfish today and put you guys through what I would do in my own workout room. Um, if you got 30 minutes, I'm going to put you through aerobics, a little bit of weight training, and some good core strength work. All right, so you guys ready? We're going to do a little bit of a warm up. Big arm swings like this, exaggerate them. Looking good out there. I need to say hi to uh, Layton and Rylan, too. Two friends I met up in Gatlinburg. We'll show you their picture in a little bit, but um, they watch Fit and Fun, and their Mima, their grandmother, Pam, watches Fit and Fun. So, so glad you guys are tuning in, staying fit, and of course, having a lot of fun. One more big circle. And there's some pictures um, while we're marching it out and stretching out. Some of my favorite places to go. Now that's Ozone Falls. Gracie B, my youngest, and her friend. I think that is Ava. And that is only about, uh, that's Crab Orchard e exit if you're on I-40. And that is Hot Springs right across from, pass through Del Rio, pass through Newport. And that's my hubby Jim. And we were up um, hiking around Hot Springs and the Paint Rock area great spot to go to of course everybody loves to go up in the Smokies and I think this is the, the um, Big Creek area off of I-40 right at, close to the state line when you cross over to um, North Carolina that's a great trail and for you folks down around Madisonville Sweetwater this is off the Tele, Teleco uh, Plains area off the Cherry Hill Parkway I think that's Hooper's Ball great spots to hike, a little biking, and that also is in the Smokies. I'm kind of looking forward to, I love the change of seasons. That's up in the Smokies, uh, close to Waynesville, close to um, that area of the park, and flowers. I just love to have books with me when I'm hiking, all the different types of flowers you can see, summertime, spring, fall, keeps you going it's a great way to take a little break if you're tired and you're hiking in the springtime we always say bring your book and take a little break and identify some flowers makes for a fit and fun with flower day all right we're gonna march out just a little bit longer and do a few lunges I'm gonna use my step if you have one at home to do a little bit more of a warm-up take a step out nice and slow but keep it moving kind of an active warm-up now to get your arms involved I'd like you guys to lift your arms as we do this. Step forward and lift. Good job. Looking good. And you guys can always find me on Facebook, Missy Fit and the Ansign Fun, and Twitter. And you can get in touch with me if you want to get some hiking. I've got a hiking 101 guide and a training guide to get ready for a half marathon or 5K. Let's hold it right here. Stretch it out. Reach to the ceiling. Good job, everybody. And bring those arms down. You can kind of give it a little twist. Other side. Take those arms up. And give it a little twist. All right, let's always have water close by. I'm gonna get a little sip. What we're gonna do today, um, we're going to do about two minutes, minute and a half to two minutes of aerobic. Get that heart rate up, burn some calories. Then we're gonna do a minute of active weights, light weights and do 30 seconds following that of something for your core, like planks. So a full body routine, all right? March it out. I'm gonna show you a little Missy move, I call it. It's kind of a new little move. It's kind of like a grapevine. Everybody knows a grapevine, but we're gonna do a uh, kind of a grapevine with a back and a front step on it. I'll show you what it looks like. Four, three, two, one. Grapevine looks like this. Other way. Step behind, step in front. Step behind, step in front. Step behind, step in front. You got that? Let's do the other way again. Four, three, that way. One, two, three. Good. March it out. 
grapevine again, step behind, step front, step behind, step front, march it. This way, step behind, step front, step behind, and march. Now you guys, if you wanna make it harder, you can march or kinda of almost jog with it in between. Count it down in four, three, two, this way. Step behind, step in front, step behind. And march it or jog it. Other side, step behind, step in front. And march it out. Keep it going. Step behind, step And jog it out two more times. Step behind, step Last time through, this way. And march it out. All right, looking good. Now, light weights, if you have them close by. Now, you don't have to have a step to do this. We're gonna do overhead press. But if you don't have a step, it would just be a step knee. Look like this. Step, knee, step, back, step, knee. Or you can just do it standing still. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. That's our motion for our arms. Your legs can march it out. Or if you have a step, you can go along with me and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. In four, three, two, and one. Step, push, step, push. Good job, about 40 more seconds. Again, you don't have to have a step. You can do it off the step. Light weights are best. Five pounds, maybe eight pounds for some of you guys. Some of you kids, maybe two cans of soup or something. You don't have to use anything like weights. 10 seconds more. Good job. Five, three, two. March it out right here, good job. Now, something for core. We can go down on the floor, or I'm gonna use my step and do a plank. Let me show you how it's gonna be for 30 seconds. Kind of a standard plank is gonna be like this. Got a little bit of bend in my arm. It's kind of like you're starting a push-up, but we're just holding it. Good job. Planks are one of those go-to things you can do. In 30 seconds, you can really feel, I can feel my abs tightening up, getting a little shaky, that's good. Keep breathing. Let's see here, about 10 more seconds. Good job, everybody. You can go down on your knees if you have to. Four, three, two, one. All right, little water break. Good job. And I want to say hi, too, to some of my Johnson City, Tri-City folks that watch. Mary Haynes Lockett, one of my college roommates, watches every once in a while. I'm going to have to have her on the show. She was a former cheerleader. She's a barrel of fun. Be fun. All right, now we're going to come back. And I'm going to add a little bit on to that Missy move. It's going to be two little grapevines and then two-step kicks. And I'll show you guys. You'll pick it up real quickly, I know. In four, three, two and this way step behind step in front step kick step kick step behind step in front step kick step kick one two three four five six eight good job step behind you're gonna kick it low or high you kids out there might be able to kick it a little higher than me that's fine go for it step behind step in front Good job. We're doing this for about a minute and a half more. Get that heart rate up. Get some steps in. We had a little over 2,500 when I started already. We've almost got a thousand in. Step behind, step in front. You can give your arm some punches if you want to. Step behind. Step behind, step in front, step. Looking good. Yeah, 
If that's too hard for you, you could just do side to side like that. But I bet you got it. Kick twice. One, two, three. One more time through. Last time through. And march it out. Okay, grab those weights. Okay, we did overhead press last time. This time, we're gonna work on flies. So I'm gonna do it a little bit. My step, I'm gonna move it a little bit sideways. <coughs> now, if you don't have a step, all you're gonna do is exaggerate a double step. One, two, three, tap. That's all you're doing. One, two, three, that's your lower body. Now with your upper body, one, two, three. You're just kind of following with your arms out and down. We're working the deltoid area of your upper um, arm and we're gonna take it on the step if you can. Looks like this, out and down. Make sure you've got both feet on the step. Again, you don't have to have a step. Just do that double step and exaggerate coming up. Good job. Doing this for about 40 seconds more. 10 seconds more, then we'll take a little bit of a break with our arms. Keep going with your legs. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a bicep curl in between. Elbows tight to our sides. Looking good. Out to the side again on flies. Doing the flies. Keeping that arm a little bit bent. Hold time. Good job. 10 more seconds. Woo! I can feel it. Four more seconds. Last one. And march it out. All right, set these down. Back to our core. All right, on this one, we're gonna do a little bit different plank. We did the upper body, kind of straight arm plank. This is gonna be almost like a prayer plank. And we'll add some variation. So again, you can come down like this. And if you need to, guys, you can go on your knees, but keep your back, not like that. Keep it straight. If you can, come on up. Make your body nice and straight. Keep breathing and hold this for 30 seconds. We only got about 20 more now. Looking good. Now, you kids out there, if you want to be a little bit more agile with it, you can bring a knee up to each side, back and forth. Like that. One more time. Or just hold it. I'm going to hold the last five seconds. Four. Three. Two. We can do it. One. Okay. Good job, everybody. Water break. Looking good. And hi to my buddies. Up in that Crossville area, Cookville, Fairfield Glade Hikers, John Conrad and the gang, those guys are so active. Led a hike there, I think 70 plus people there. Working on the Cumberland Trail, I'm so excited about the Cumberland Trail. Going the whole length of Tennessee, that's gonna be awesome from Chattanooga up to Cumberland Gap. I was at Claiborne Medical a couple weeks ago, did a hiking 101 and um, kind of get the people up there excited about um, participating, hiking more up in that area, 80 miles of trails in Cumberland Gap National Historical Park. All right, back to our routine, doing something aerobic. So we are, we're gonna go back to what I just taught y'all with the two kicks. It's kind of like a double grapevine and then two kicks on e either side. You guys try it at home, I bet you can do it. Four, three, two, one. Step behind, step in front, step, kick. Step behind, step in front, double kick. You can do it. I call this my little missy move, lightly. Step behind, step in front, step, kick. Kick high if you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give it some flair. Looking good. Woo.
Anything that you want to do with your arms is fine, but keep them moving. The more you move your arms, the more calories you burn. Looking good. Thirty more seconds. So we're doing two minutes of aerobics, about, and then a minute of active weights, and thirty, 30 seconds of core strength. A couple more times through. Good job. Step behind. Step. Step behind. Step. Clay says we've got ten minutes more. Looking good out there. You can do it. Last time through. All right, march it out. Looking good, all right. Active weights, grab your weights if you've got some. Now this one, you can either grab two weights or I'm gonna grab a heavier weight. I'm gonna work my triceps. So either two weights together or a heavier weight if you have it. And then we're gonna do some backward lunges as our upper body routine's gonna be down and up. Kinda keeping our wrist straight. That's gonna be our upper body. Lower body's gonna look like this. Step back, up. I'm just kinda tapping a little bit of weight on my ball of my foot, then up. So we're getting some lower leg work and triceps in. Elbows high. Kinda keep them overhead. Good job. Keep going, you can do it. Backward lunges. Good job. I'm sweating. I hope you guys are too. Means you're working. Ten more seconds. Five. Last one. All right, looking good. Let's put the weight down. All right, core. We're going to work. On this one, we're going to work our tummy. We're gonna come back here like this. And I'm gonna sit on my step. You can just sit on the floor wherever. 30 seconds, we're gonna put our feet out and try to balance. If you can't balance well, you can always touch down in between. Or another alternative is to do some bicycle. But really feel that ab area tightening up. I need this. I need this. Good job, we can kind of pump our feet back and forth. Try not to hold on. Woo, this is not easy. 10 more seconds. Four seconds more. Good job, water break. Our steps. We're doing good. I started out about 2,500 steps on my Fitbit, and I'm about to 4,200 now. So it's good. All right, back to the Missy move. Make sure you guys got it. Two minutes. Great bind behind first. Step behind. Step in front. Step kick. Step behind. Step in front. If you're sick of kicking, you can do step behind. Step in front. Step knee like that. Step behind. Give me two knees. Step behind, step in front, step knee, step knee. Good job. Get that knee up high. Step in front, step knee. Step behind, step in front, step knee. Good job. Keep going. Step in front. If you like that kick instead, we can go back to that kick. 45 seconds more. Keep moving. In 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, if you really push yourself, you can get a good workout in aerobically, a little core strength. 
and it'll benefit you in the long run. Maybe once a week do something long like a hike, bike ride. Good job. 10 seconds more. Step behind, step. two knees. Step behind, two knees. Last time. All right, march it out. All right, grab those weights again. Light weight. All right, on this one, I'm gonna stand behind my step. I'm gonna do a combination. So it's gonna be kind of like a deadlift, clean and jerk in a way, like a clean and jerk, excuse me. Overhead press and down. I'm gonna get heavier weights on this one. But these weights are kind of light. All right. Now start down like this. Coming up to our shoulders, <clears throat> pressing over touch, back to shoulders and down. Looks like this. Here, up, here, and down. Keep your weight on your heels. My legs are slightly out, turned out just a little bit. If you want to add a little hop, you can if you if it doesn't hurt anything. Good job. Makes it a little tougher, but stay low to the ground if you can't do that and it hurts. Don't do it. Looking good. And I do have a few fitness tips and different things on my YouTube channel. Missy Fit and Fun. Good job. About 15 more seconds. One more. All right, set those weights down. A little drink of water. I think we've got about five more minutes. Is that right? Richard saying four. See, have so much fun. The time flies. All right, we have time for another core strength move, though, I think. Okay, on this one, I'm going to show you what I'll do. Take a weight, and I'm going to um, push this to the side for a second. It's going to look like this, guys. Camera guys are doing great keeping up with me. I'm going to cross my feet like this, and if you can do this, if you want to make it easy, just go back and forth like this. You can hold something ahead like this. If you have a little bit more umph, you can take it back like this. So I'm touching the weight behind my head, getting my triceps in there. You want to kind of keep your eyesight glaring out, keep your neck protected. Good job. Two more. Last one. All right, hold that position right here and a little bit of bicycle. Working on that abdominal area. Good. A few more and then we're gonna stretch it out. Okay, I want you to roll to one side like this. Now, this um, position right here is great to do, hold it up here and do a a side plank. So you might want to do that after the show like 10, 15 seconds at a time. In between, I want you to stretch that quad by pulling back that heel or the pants. You can use your pants, but pull that back and hold that stretch of your quadricep. Good job. This is an area I just forget to stretch. Sometimes it's hard to do standing up with balance, but a lot of cyclists and people that walk and hike a lot, you get really tight in the quadriceps and you really need to stretch this out. So swing around the other side and same thing. I'm going to show y'all a little bit about a side plank. You can even look up like this. After the show, maybe give yourself two sets of these and just do it for 15 seconds each. That side plank works all of this area, obliques. Then on your rest period, bring it back like this. Good job. Stretch out that quad. Looking good out there. Okay, we got about one more minute. We're gonna stretch it out. Sit up nice and tall. And this is a good one for your low back. We're gonna, I call it the pretzel stretch. We're gonna have one knee bent like this. Take that opposite arm and kind of push it back and you can feel it in your hip and your low back. For time's sake, we're just gonna do this about 
15 seconds to show you, but do it more after the show. And other side, we got about 30 seconds, guys. Great workout. And Leighton and Rylan, you guys did an excellent job doing this. And I do see Mima. I can see her doing a great job out there, okay? All right, you guys, remember, life is more fun when you're fit, so keep working out at least five days a week. And I'm right here. I'm right here on East Tennessee PBS.